Here I have a sample DNA strand. And normally if I was using the zipper analogy, I would say that the fabric sides of the zipper are the deoxyribose uh, sugar and the phosphate sides. And then the teeth that fit together in the zipper would be the bases um, joined up as the rungs. But it's too hard to color the little bases. So on here, what I did basically was match up um, just colors. So whites go to orange every time. So white, orange, orange, white, orange, white. Um, and blue goes with pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink. So we see that we still have that same pattern, ATCG, just using colors. Now, what happens is, like we've already discussed, this DNA strand has to unzip itself. And it does that with a zipper, a zipper pull. And the zipper pull is called helicase. Okay, and basically it does, it just unzips. That's exactly what it does. It unzips. And as it unzips, if you look, you can see that uh, just going up just a little bit that my orange and whites are already separating and coming apart a little. And the further up, the further apart they get, right? So now my blue and pink there is separated. And as I come up, a blue and pink here is separated. So we have this area here and it's actually called a replication fork which makes sense. It's a fork shape and it's for replication. Uh, now, two little enzymes come into play. DNA polymerase, okay? So helicase is an enzyme, that's the zipper, and that's what unzips it, and there's one of those. And there's two DNA polymerase. And what these guys are gonna do is, one is going to attach itself to each of these strands. And as it comes through, there are nucleic acids floating around, or nucleotides actually, it's the deoxyribose sugars with the phosphate and the base, uh, floating around just in the cell. And DNA polymerase will grab the right one. Now it has a, a serious job. Helicase is just unzipping. That's all it has to do. It doesn't have to worry about these colors. It doesn't care if it's passing a, a blue, a pink, an orange, or a white. It doesn't matter. It's just unzipping. But DNA polymerase, super important job because what it has to do is it has to come along here and it has to read. So this guy over here has to read, this is a white. So that means I need to grab a orange, okay? And that's what he's going to do. He's going to grab an orange pair and match it up just like that. Then he's gonna keep going and he's gonna say, oh, I read a pink on the original strand. That means I need to grab a blue. And he grabs a blue and that matches up. And Heliocase is continuing his work up the strand. And while this polymerase is over here reading this side of the strand and matching everything up, over here, this polymerase is doing the same thing. He's reading this orange and saying, okay, that's an orange, I need to grab a white. And there's a blue, I need to grab a pink. And there's a pink, I need to grab a blue. And he's matching them up. Now, this is very simple because we're only talking about, you know, maybe 10 base pairs along this DNA strand. But you have to realize that DNA strands are millions upon millions of base pairs long. So as this is unzipping and replicating, this DNA polymerase has to go extremely quickly grabbing the right ones. And if it grabs the wrong one, we can have some serious problems happen. And we're gonna talk about those next week. And it does happen. I mean, every once in a while it makes a mistake, just like a copy machine, as you're making a whole lot of copies and you're making them really, really fast because DNA is replicating at super high speed. Um, sometimes your copy machine gets jammed. Sometimes a page smears. Um, these sorts of things happen, all right? That's when the polymerase makes a little mistake. But for the most part, part, they do a pretty good job. So now eventually this original strand is completely unzipped by the helicase and each polymerase comes along and we're not gonna zip them. We're just gonna put them together like so. And we'll match up this strand here. And as you can see, that's gonna be a cop exact copy of the DNA strand that we just had that was all zipped up. And this one over here makes 
another exact copy. So again, just like we did with our paper letters a moment ago, um, we can see how we have two exact copies in the cell. And again, the cell has expanded at this point to fit all of this replicated DNA inside of it. It's expanded, then it's going to pinch off like this. This copy strand will be inside of one cell. This will be in the other one, completely pinches off and separates out. And now we have exact copies of our DNA. So the things that are important to remember here are original strand, DNA helicase comes along and busts up those bonds between each base pair, unzipping the DNA strand. As it's unzipping, at the same exact time, we have two polymerase, DNA polymerase, these guys coming in and they're reading these base pairs. This guy says white, I need to grab an orange. This guy says orange, I need to grab a white. And they move down and they match up those base pairs and create us two completely new copies of the original DNA.